Good morning, Christian family. This is Linda. Me and my husband have the Deliverance and the Business Ministries in Wilgejewel in Rodepoort, which is in South Africa. In this teaching, I want us to have a look at was Jesus really born on 25th of December? And what the Bible reveals and what the Bible does not reveal about it and also about the season of the birth of Christ. Let's have a look at it. Now, the Bible does not tell us when Jesus was born. If God wanted us to know this information, he would have told us. But if you read the story where Jesus was born in a manga in the Bible, this information about the birth date of Jesus is not there. Why is it not there? Because God did not want us to know. God knew that we would idolize his birthday and that our focus will shift from where the victory really lies. The victory is in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, not in his birth. The victory is where he conquered death and rose from the grave and went up into heaven. This is where the victory lies. We are only to acknowledge that Jesus was born as a human being. We are not to celebrate it because that is where the story of Jesus' journey on earth begins. But we are not to make a huge traditional religious thing out of it. We are only to acknowledge it. The Bible says in Romans 10 verse 9, If you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. It does not say if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that he was born in a manger, you will be saved. No. God had a reason why he did not tell us when Jesus was born. He did not want our focus to be on that. If your focus is on the birth of Jesus and you make a big thing out of it, like a Christmas celebration, you will never get to focus on the real victory where our focus should be. We keep Jesus in a manga as a helpless little baby when we focus on his birthday. Where he is a mighty king and a mighty conqueror of sin of this world and our almighty savior he's not a baby in a manga anymore it is like the catholics that hang jesus on a cross in their churches they never get past that they keep jesus on the cross he is not on the cross anymore he overcame the cross and he overcame death and he is risen but this is exactly what we do to Jesus when we focus on his birth we keep Jesus in a manga as a defenseless baby while he is not a baby anymore he is a king almighty victorious king who died for us and rose again and ascended into heaven to prepare a place for us people we have to get past this we have to focus on the right stuff the victory is where jesus rose and ascended into heaven to go and prepare a place for us that is where the victory lies that is where he overcame satan he made a public spectacle of satan and showed satan that he who is jesus is the overcomer and that we can be overcomers too because of what Jesus did for us. 
But to come back to if Jesus was born on 21st of December. As we know, the Bible does not tell us that. So let's go and have a look at what the Bible does say. In Luke 2 verses 8 to 10, it says, And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all people. Now, when the angel came to the shepherds to announce the birth of Jesus, the shepherds were busy letting their sheep graze in the fields at night. This is important. At night. It was night time. How do we know the shepherds let the sheep graze during the night time? It is very important to note that it was at night. We know this because verse 8 says, There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. It is very cold in Israel during the period from December to February. So cold that no shepherd will let the sheep graze at night on the open field. And it was not the custom of the shepherds of Judea to let their sheep graze at night after the end of October. So there is no way that the shepherds will let their sheep graze in the open field at night in the middle of the winter. So Jesus could not have been born in December because the angel went to the shepherds to tell them about Jesus' birth while they were in the open field at night with the sheep. In other words, it was summer. In December, it is already in the middle of winter over there and freezing cold. When Mary was expecting Jesus when she was pregnant, Caesar Augustus gave the order that the whole world must be registered. This means that the people had to be counted. He ordered a census. And Joseph went with his wife Mary while she was still pregnant to Judea so that they can also be registered. And while they were there, Mary went into labor and gave birth to Jesus. Let's read it. It's in Luke 2 verses 1 to 7. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the entire world should be registered in a census. This census first took place while Quirinius was governing Syria. And everyone went to register for the census, each to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea to the city of David which is called Bethlehem because he was of the house and lineage of David to be registered with Mary his betrothed wife who was with child while they were there in Bethlehem the time came for her to give birth and she gave birth to her firstborn son and she wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manga because there was no place for them in the inn. Now, they would not have implemented a census period in the freezing cold winter. People did not have cars in those days. They had to walk where they wanted to be or ride on a donkey. So there is no way that they would have implemented a census period in the middle of the freezing cold winter. So it had to be summer when Joseph took his pregnant wife to go and get them registered and then she went into labor while they were over there. She did not go into labor in the middle of winter. No man is going to have his wife, who is so far pregnant, walked to another town in the middle of the ice-cold winter to get registered. So people, 
nobody knows the date that Jesus was born. We have an idea of the season, but we have no idea of the actual date. And we as people do not have the right to conjure up a date and decide on Jesus' behalf when he was born. How would you feel if I now decide that you must celebrate your birthday from now on on the 2nd of January? Um, from now on, I will celebrate your birthday on the 2nd of January. I don't care when you were really born. That is not important. I have so little respect for you that I cannot care and I also really don't care how you feel about it or what you think about it. I have now decided that I am going to celebrate your birthday from now on, on the 2nd of January, whether you like it or not. And now I know that there will be people who say, yes, but it does not matter when Jesus was born because we don't know the date. We celebrate it on the 21st, no big deal. No, people, you cannot do that. If God the Father wanted us to know when Jesus was born, He would have told us. He did not tell us because He knew what we were going to do. He does not want us to celebrate it. He does not want us to f uh, our focus to be on the birth of Jesus. He does not want us to idolize the birth of Jesus when we should be focused on the victory on the cross where Jesus ascended into heaven to go and prepare a place for us. The victory is not in the birth of Jesus. We cannot twist and change the Bible and put in our own stuff and make up stuff and put our own spin on it as it suits us. If God the Father wanted us to celebrate Jesus' birthday, He would have told us to celebrate it. It would have been a command, but He did not tell us to celebrate it and it's not a command from God. So let's get away from these things. Let's examine God's word. Let's live according to the truth of his word and not according to religious add-ons. Let's leave all these worldly traditions behind. Let us come away from these man-made traditions. God is not in it and he is not interested in it either. Let us look at what the Bible says how God feels about our traditions. In Matthew 15 verse 3 it says, He answered and said to them, Why do you break the commandment of God for the sake of your tradition? And in Matthew 15 verse 6 it says, So for the sake of your tradition, you have invalidated the word of God, depriving it of authority and making it of no effect for the sake of your tradition. People, God hates tradition. And tradition is a demon. It is a spirit of tradition that attaches itself to people. So let us get away from these things and let us delve into God's true word. And let us live our lives according to God's word and not according to Men, to uh, man made traditions. Let us not be religion and tradition Christians. Let us be Bible believing, born again Christians. Right, you guys, you must have a very blessed day. And if you want to go and watch more of our videos, we are on YouTube under Linda and Marius Deliverance and Business Ministries.